Hey hello friends welcome to my channel now see about gas metal arc welding. The MIG welding process is based on the principle that a consumable metal electrode is used to produce an arc in between the metal electrode and the workpiece. The arc so produced creates a large amount of heat and this heat is used to join the two metal pieces together. The whole process takes place under a shielding gas, argon or helium, to prevent the weld from atmospheric contamination. Gas metal arc welding, also called metal inert gas welding, is an arc welding process in which the heat for melting the metal is generated by an electric arc between a consumable electrode and the metal. The electrode is a solid wire, fed continuously through the arc into the weld pool, which ultimately becomes the filler metal at the weld. The wire type is selected to match the weld metal strength with the base metal strength. A mixture of inert gases, such as helium and argon, is streamed into the weld area to shield and protect the arc, weld pool, electrode, and the base metal adjacent to the weld from interacting with the atmosphere. The welding parameters that are controlled to produce acceptable welds are arc current, arc voltage, wire feed speed, electrode travel speed, current density, and preheat temperature. Preheating involves heating the base metal in the region surrounding the joint prior to welding and is often used to reduce the residual shrinkage stresses and increase the resistance to cracking in the weld area. Gas metal arc welding can be used for joining dissimilar metals with close melting points and metallurgical compatibility. Close melting point is required to produce controlled melting on both sides of the joint. Metallurgical compatibility is required to prevent cracking in the heat affected zone or in the base metals, and to produce a microstructure in the weld zone that can provide adequate joint performance and corrosion resistance. For example, in welding a low carbon steel with a high alloy steel, the fusion boundary may contain unacceptable levels of very hard, brittle martensite phase, which will lower the joint strength. For some metallurgically incompatible metals, it may be possible to make a satisfactory weld using a suitable filler material. Thank you bye see in next video don't forgot to subscribe.